team. While nothing has been finalized and he is still talking with others as he forms his cabinet, the president-elect has been unbelievably impressed with Senator Sessions and his phenomenal record as Alabama's attorney general and U.S. attorney. It is no wonder the people of Alabama re-elected him without opposition. Now, I read into that a couple of things. One, he could be attorney general. Two, he might stay in the Senate. And he's just saying, hey, he's a great guy. He's amazing, but we're probably not going to give him a spot. Which is why I think the judge is right, that trying to read the tea leaves here is really quite uh, fruitless. And I think the criticism that the, the incoming administration has gotten is, as David Axelrod says, slightly unbalanced. That at the same point, they had not made appointments. And he said, I don't remember being criticized. It's as if parts of the press who got used to attacking Donald Trump uh, in the campaign and are just itching to start those attacks when he takes office. And I'm sure there will be reason to criticize him. Can take an interregnum of a month or two off. There's such in the moment, they just have to do it. It's almost reflexive. The guy's putting together a team. Let's see who he ends up with. I think bringing in Romney, whether he gives him a job or not, is quite a signal. That was one of the bitterest attacks on a candidate of one's own party ever delivered by Romney. And for Trump to bring him in, I think, helps to blunt the sort of the prejudice that people have that he will only stick with loyalists, a small group, outsiders, and the country will be adrift at the beginning because they're going to have to learn everything from the beginning when they come into office. So I thought that was the most important signal of the day. And of course, bringing in Henry Kissinger, he's a vista of foreign policy. You really can't be sworn into office unless you've, you've met Henry Kissinger. <laughs> I, think, I think it's in the Constitution. <laughs> he's a, a true brain on foreign policy. Um,